Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of Sunshine in the Mirror. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Sorry if I sound congested. Your girl is still sick. So who drive him? Oh, okay. Wait! All right. Best girl. Why? Would you think this is your fault? I mean, is it because y you're singing? Or see, okay, hold on. What if it's the what she means by that is more of her magic because, of course, the title of the episode is Johanna is magic. Baby. No, not the staff. No. Girl, this given like Persona 4, the bad ending, like when you don't go and do the final palace and such, and you know, the fog start coming in more. Mm mm. Kidding. upstairs in her room.
Oh, baby, no, that's not healthy. Oh my god. That's not true. You've always had magic, baby. I'm not gonna cry today. I'm not gonna cry while I'm sick. Yeah, Johanne. Not good. Be okay. Uh, hold on, wait, wait, time out, kids. If your mom said, Don't go outside, why are you outside? And that's what y'all get. You guys gotta go talk to her. Something. No. Baby is not okay. Baby depressed. And I don't like that. Yeah, but because she threw away the staff, like, she, she's not going to be able to help. But at the same time, if she's not, she is useful without the staff. That's the biggest thing. And that was the, the lesson that she got from, what, two episodes ago? So if she can realize that again, then maybe the staff might, you know, teleport to her. I don't know.
What's up, chica? Okay, if y'all don't perform a song for my best girl, then I don't want it. But whatever you do, I'm satisfied. I'll be very satisfied. Find the stuff, my left. Find it. Oh. Let me say this now. Is it also bad that I kind of want a whole spinoff on Daya and just her outfit and her kicking behind? I'm just saying. I think we should do that. Honestly. If my best girl can have a spinoff, my second best girl can also have a spinoff. Please. I will literally sign. I'll be the first person to sign to give Daya a spinoff. Don't leave. You're the only one I have left. It's almost like you have a promise with someone and you say, hey, no matter what, they won't leave you. And in the end, they leave you. It's super heartbreaking. Not there. This girl did not just say, <laughs> you have the wrong person. <laughs> We're gonna treat you like a queen tonight. Oh, 
food. Speak in my language. better. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, yeah, what am I I don't know about that. Oh, go. No. Oh, no, Mari. Baby. Stop saying that you have something special. Oh, baby, gonna make me cry. I don't want to cry. Damn it, love live. <laughs> oh. 
tomorrow. Now just Lila needs to come in with the stuff. Just make me happy. Go find her. Will you apologize? You leave where you went to stop. Ruby? Oh, okay. She got this stuff, but she's hurt. Oh my god. Just once again, this is a story about a girl and her puppy. <laughs> oh my god, I can't with this show. Uh. <sighs> Too much. Oh my god. Emotions. Jesus Christ. I love the fact that the girls were like, yes, we have to cheer her up. Because, of course, yes. Like, Yolani, after realizing and thinking that everything is her fault, and she's like, you know what? I need to throw the staff away. And I need to just start anew. Go back to my normal self and not be happy, happy, joy, joy esque. Oh, when she threw that stab, it hurt my heart. Like, baby, like, you just, it, it makes you go back a couple episodes ago when she did lose the staff and she got super upset about it and she was trying her hardest with everyone else to find it and then to just throw all of that away. I get it. We've all been there. Truly, we've all, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. I, I don't. <laughs> like the title card for FSR 12. Why would you say that? Why would you put that as a title card? What is wrong with you? Like seriously, what is wrong with you? That are, That's making me expect the worst next Sunday. I'm scared for next Sunday now. Something bad will happen to lilacs. I don't want anything bad to happen to lilacs. I love lilacs. The, the puppy. That's her baby. It is such. Even though lilacs is like, you know, older than your honey. But still, that is your baby. Like, seriously, imagine if you have a pet. And something happens to your pet. Like, imagine, like, me with my two previous dogs who did pass away and then plus Cody who literally acts like both of them combined like my mom and I will have like bazillion conversations to say like oh Cody is just yelling Keanu reincarnated and such the things that I would do for this dog because I love this dog so damn much that dog is my whole world and I I love him that is my baby I will literally do anything for him I, it's just, oh god, the, the separation anxiety that he had, that I somewhat had when I was on the girls trip and then everything else in between and such, it, it just hurts. But I'm just hoping with that title card and everything, it, I'm not, 
I'm hoping it, it, it's not what I'm thinking. But if it is, it is. I'm probably going to be tearing up next week. But I don't like the fact that my lips are. I really. I, I like. See, my, my two triggers are babies and animals. I, I don't like seeing babies get hurt. Any, any baby or kids get hurt in anime. And I don't like seeing animals getting hurt. Like, uh uh. That, that's a big no for me. And it's just like, mm, we cannot do this. So I'm hoping that by next week, because I think what is next week the finale? Or I think it's the week after. One of the two. Um, hopefully. She's okay. But like, even with the fact that the tension between these two, because they still have not apologized to each other. So it is very clearly high. And so you're just wanting that moment. Just kind of how I felt in the today's episode of Jabba's Reincarnation, especially with Rudy and um, Syl and their situation stuff and how, you know, she won't tell him that, oh, hey, it's me, your friend from when we were kids. It's like that with this, where it's like the tension between these two is so near and near and high. And what it, neither one of them wants to, you know, man up enough and apologize. Because, of course, that's just friends or friendships in a nutshell. You know, one of us does not want to get on our high horse and apologize. And that's okay. But sometimes you have to be the better person and apologize. Like, Johanna is taking that step. I just want to make sure Lila is just okay. That's all I care about next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 11 of Sunshine in the Mirror. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for episode 12. Bye, guys.